Okay, um, let's talk about Muntuleasa Street, the last thing we will talk about uh, today. I mean, um, it's Leo's birthday, so we thought we could bring him a cake and say happy birthday. And um, the, the sunset was really coming over there, so I wouldn't consider the sunset a bad thing, because if t today it symbolizes that today's end, so tomorrow could start, because t if today wouldn't end, then um, tomorrow could never start, and it would get a little boring, wouldn't it, to do the same thing, and the same thing, and the same thing, I mean, it starts something new, it's the gate to tomorrow's sunrise, and wouldn't we get bored, could we? So, uh, walking on Muntulesa Street would be a great experience. I love going over there. It's, it brings me in a so good energy. It gives me energy. It gives me fun. I mean, not fun. It gives me calmness. It takes me out of anything I would hate. And, um, let's see, as the sun sets, tomorrow will start again, wouldn't it? No? Forgot your phone? Yes. I Happy birthday, dear Leo. Happy birthday to you. Moon Sunday, Moon You're turning 81 from where I see it. 81 to you. Look. Yay! Did you make the race? That's kind of difficult. Birthday to you, you look like a monkey, and you smell like one too. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so we did. Yeah, this question. We can go over there and go at any bus stop there, or we can go over there and go to my place. What should we do? Let's go to your place first. Okay, let's go there. And then we'll. I think it's. I guess I'm. Uh -huh. Whatever. Dude. <laughs> This is a pretty funny one, you know, because on your cake, yeah, there were like 81, mm. like you just turned 81, <laughs> and oh, I have this book uh, that I read like recently. It's it's pretty funny, you know, because it's about the street, you know, that yeah. we're going on. It's called the Montalasa Street, yeah. and uh, this author, uh, he was like passionate about magic stuff and weird things that happen, you know. On the street? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and he was like, he got his problem with people getting stuck in time, you know. And this is pretty actually interesting. This is the place, like right on this side, this is the place where his school was. This is just like... Those yeah, there are like bushes and thorns and stuff like that. Yeah. But this was his school. And, you know, and it, it, in it his book, it's like a whole bunch of trees. And yeah, well, it looks like, but once yeah. upon a time, was a school thing. Cool. And in, in his book, there's like this character called Alexandru and that is Alex. Yeah. Like your name. Yeah, that's and, my and last I'm, name. I'm starting to think uh, there is no coincidences in this thing, you know? It's like your age on a cake. And you know your real age. I think you're the character. You know? No, dude, no. I I turned 18, not 81. That's ridiculous, right? Just okay, it is ridiculous. Get over it. Sounds no. ridiculous, but I think you're fucking. Huh? Really? That's that's like over the top. It's so pretty real. Dude, the cake doesn't lie. A cake does lie, trust me. I wished many times upon my cake and none of them came true. So, there you go. You don't believe in magic. No, not really. Not a lot of people believe in magic nowadays. We believe in science.
Okay, so, in the end, I wanted to talk to you, Mr. Ridley Scott. I wanted to announce you that um, you either are a telepathic, either it's just a coincidence as everything that happened on the 24th of July, that uh, we had this idea, but our budget isn't as big as yours. We wanted to thank you because uh, you made our dream come true and you showed the ones who weren't believing us that um, either it's a crazy world, either we are absolutely normal, but they can't realize that. So, um, since the great effort that we gave today and we made today, I wanted to offer this Oscar not only to me, see, because they didn't offer it to us, so I wanted to offer it not only to me, but to all the crew, to um, Aurora, Mary, Carol, um, Sophia, Andre, um, my grandparents, my parents, uh, I don't know, everyone, Juana, the son, um, Albert, uh, Amy, Leo, so um, that they did a great job, that they helped us really much and that they made our dream come true because without them then we would have been alone so it wouldn't be that nice. So this Oscar is for all of us and um, I think that it could be for anyone, for anyone who was in the train station, for anyone who looked at us, for anyone who helped us. Um, so, that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Okay. Uh, uh, I should turn it off, shouldn't I? But, oh my god, it's hard. Oh, my back.